Welcome to the Komatsu booth, where we're going to be talking about how we create value together with equipment, technology, and services. My name is Kazmir Belinsky, and I'm going to be taking you throughout the booth today. Some of the key themes we're going to hit on are how we can help optimize your fleets, how we can help implement technology, and how we can help attract and retain top talent. So here we're going to start off at the services and support station. We have a couple of different categories of experts here who can talk to customers about a, a variety of different topics. One of them being Komatsu Finance. Another one being My Komatsu, which is a 24-7 online portal for telematics, parts and service brochures, ordering parts, and a new feature we're announcing, which is brand agnostic alerts for machines if a warranty is about to expire or parts need to be serviced in the near future. We also have people from Komatsu Academy, which is an online training program where we have live coaching, online courses, and also an office management component so that you can keep up with employees' career paths. In addition to that vein of training, we're going to talk about a simulator later in the booth. And as well, I want to talk about our reman uh, display before we move on to start talking about some of our machines. So we're really proud of our reman program. Uh, we're able to remanufacture parts with as little as 15% of the energy it takes to produce parts new. And we're also able to retain up to 85% of the material uh, in the remanufacturing process. We're encouraging customers and attendees to uh, interact with these screens that are X, it's an X-ray vision into this engine here. And they can touch on the screen to learn a little bit more about our remanufactured parts. So first, uh, in terms of machines, we're going to talk about the WA475-10 WH. WH stands for waste handler. We at Komatsu have a variety of different waste handling packages, but this is the machine that we chose to feature it on at the booth today. We've taken a lot of customer feedback into account with this machine, improving ergonomics and comfort in the cab, and adding more vital protections to the machine in order to protect vital components. In addition, we're very proud of the next-gen Komatsu hydraulic mechanical transmission that helps this machine be up to 30% more fuel efficient. We're gonna move on now to the technology tunnel, which I'm a marketing manager for smart construction technologies, so this is uh, selfishly my favorite part of the booth. So here we have the technology tunnel, and this is where we tell customers that we know every job site is unique. And to meet those specific needs of your specific job site, we have a variety of different solutions available. And here at this part of the booth, we have experts in all of our smart construction, smart quarry, and IMC uh, technologies and solutions. One example we're showing customers at the booth here today is our smart construction retrofit kit. This is a brand agnostic, affordable, and easy to install kit that helps bring 2D and 3D guidance data to any brand of excavator currently on someone's fleet. In addition, if you pair a solution like this with Smart Construction Remote, you're able to actually, with a device, remote into the machine and also send some of that 2D, 3D guidance data to the machines out in the field without ever having to leave the office. So the point being, we have a lot of solutions that work well together and when added together, compound their value and create synergies. In addition, we're showing customers and attendees these interactive screens where they can go down different journeys, as we're calling them, of various different solutions, whether it's Smart Quarry, Smart Construction, or the IMC 2.0 machines with our excavator and dozer. Customers can click on the eyeball to get more video information. And additionally, subject matter experts can walk them through additional material and pictures of dashboards uh, on these screens. So we're encouraging customers and attendees and dealers to come through and check this out at their own pace. Additionally, we have a computer station at the booth where we're able to help schedule uh, consultations following uh, Con Expo. And in addition, we've been able to perform some demos of the software on that computer screen. So we're gonna talk about some of our electric machines now. And what better way to start than with one of our hybrids? Komatsu was the first to bring a hybrid excavator to market 15 years ago. And with the release of this machine, the HB365 LC-3, this machine was released six years ago. It has an all-electric swing motor, which helps improve cycle times. And in addition, we're very proud of the seven-year, 15,000-hour, fully transferable warranty on all hybrid components. We're gonna move on to talk about some of our other electric machines now. 
And why are we talking about electric machines? Well, Komatsu has very aggressive environmental sustainability goals. Uh, we have very high goals where by 2050, we want to be completely carbon neutral and we want to reduce our carbon emissions by 50% uh, by 2030. And in order, to do, uh, in order to achieve those goals, we need to explore alternative uh, methods of powering our machines, electric being one of them. So here we have three different electric machines on display. Here we have the PC-01E, a small but powerful machine. It has a swappable battery pack on the back, which was developed in partnership with Honda, and it was launched in Japan of March of 2022. Behind it, we have the WA Electric Concept. Uh, this is 100% electric, and fun fact, because of it, it actually has no hydraulics on the machine. The WA Electric Concept was developed in partnership with Moog. Over here, we have the PC30E, which is an electric mini excavator. Uh, this will be available in Japan and Europe later this year. And within this uh, display, you'll see that we have different charging options, whether it's the swappable battery technology or a portable battery and inverter setup. And additionally, over here, we have an off-grid power bank developed in partnership with Proterra that will actually charge the PC-210E. I'll get to that in a second. So here we have the PC-210E, uh, which has a lithium-ion battery, which is developed uh, in partnership with Proterra and has up to eight hours of runtime. So as I mentioned, this off-grid power bank uh, developed by Proterra, this is able to charge the PC-210E up to five times. So if you're able to get up to eight hours of operating time and five charges in many countries, it's a full work week. So why are we talking about all these partnerships, whether it's Proterra or Moog or Honda? Well, we want to bring proven technology solutions providers into the fold so that we can release products to the market faster. And as we touched on in the technology tunnel, why we have all of these different charging capabilities uh, is because the requirements of every job site are unique and we want to provide a variety of different solutions to help meet those specific needs. We're going to move on now from some of our electric machines and talk about one of our wheel loaders. So here we have the WA320-8 wheel loader. This is one of our most versatile uh, and fuel efficient machines in its class because of the fourth generation hydrostatic transmission on this machine. This machine in addition also has dynamic braking uh, but if operators prefer, there is a coast mode as well. Here we're going to move on to start talking about some of our dozers. As we go through, we've asked customers if they've been uh, at the last Con Expo in 2020, because some of them may remember, we actually launched this machine here, the D71PXI-24, at the last Con Expo. We've received a lot of really great feedback with this machine, uh, whether it's the increased power, or the slant nose design in front to give operators better visibility. IMC 2.0 technology, uh, helping to bring three uh, GPS guidance data to the machine, helping close the operator skill gap between the, most, uh, the least experienced and the most experienced operators, and helping achieve a more precise grade. Additionally, we're celebrating 10 years of intelligent machine control, and we're also happy to announce that we have over 14,000 IMC machines out in the field globally today. We're going to move on to talk about some of our forestry equipment and then move on to talk about some of our quarry equipment as well. Excuse me. So Komatsu is really excited to grow some of its forestry lineup. Uh, we've expanded to include a more comprehensive approach to the forestry process where Komatsu can assist with the planting, harvesting, and cultivating part of the forestry lineup. Here we have the uh, PC230F-11. This machine is designed with improved debris protection and cooling for harsh environments and is equipped with our Southstar QS500 multi-tree processor head. So again, we're really excited to be growing this lineup. We'll start talking about some of our quarry machines. Here we have the WA500-8 loader. One of the things we're featuring on this loader uh, at the show today is the Asbury High Performance Yard Loader Bucket. This bucket has a longer floor, which helps increase and improve material retention and material pickup. Another thing we're saying with this is to achieve working with the Asbury Yard Loader Bucket. Uh, we can do that because we have things on this machine like lower profile and slightly wider wheels, 
also with counterbalance, counterbalance measures on the back of the machine. Additionally, we're saying with this machine, as well as many other of our Cori machines, they're actually engineered and designed by the same people uh, in Komatsu that design our mining equipment. So these machines are powerful, productive, and durable, and built to last. So we'll talk about some more of our Cori machines here. And while we don't actually have this machine on display at the show, uh, we have a visual representation of it up on the screen here. And that is the ZT44 track drill. So Komatsu has a variety of different track drills and a variety of different sizes for your quarry applications. This machine here features a robust undercarriage and has the ability to operate on steeper slopes and more unstable benches. And we're encouraging customers if they'd like to learn more, we have interactive, uh, we have displays here uh, for more information. And also, again, as we do throughout the entire booth, we have experts who are here to answer any questions. We're gonna move past our store here, in which I'm excited to get one of the plush toys for my son when I go home. And additionally, I'll tell you how customers can win a $25 gift card to the store. But before I do that, we're gonna to touch more on some of our quarry machines. And what I wanna mention our quarry machines and what we're telling customers is that Komatsu's really become a one-stop uh, shop for quarry operations. Whether it's drilling, sizing, crushing, breaking, loading, hauling, uh, or uh, smart construction and smart quarry solutions. Uh, we bring all that into the fold to help our quarry operations. And with the acquisition of Joy Global in 2018, we're able to bring legacy technology that's been developed over decades into the Komatsu family and into the Komatsu lineup. Over here, we have the WA600-8 uh, wheel loader, and we have the HD465-8 truck. We've paired these two machines together because they match really well in terms of loading efficiency. Additionally, up in the cabs, uh, both of these machines, we actually have Smart Quarry Site, which is a brand agnostic fleet management solution for quarry operations. So we're encouraging attendees to get up into the cab and talk to some of our experts to actually see the demonstration on that screen. Over here next to these machines, we have the Komatsu Simulator. Here you can simulate driving an HD605 truck which is a similar uh, cab uh, to the HD465 that we have in front of the simulator, uh, but just in a bigger machine. With the simulation technology we have, we're excited to get people to try it out and talk about the fact that we're able to put operators in potentially different or even potentially dangerous situations from the safety of a simulator, right? Without actually being in real danger. So we're encouraging people to check out the simulator. If they hit the course time, then they'll get a $25 gift card to our store that we passed earlier. In between the Komatsu simulator and the HM400 truck earlier today, uh, we had a photo opportunity with the Hoffman family from Hoffman Family Gold. And we were encouraging attendees if they wanted to get their picture taken to come. And we're just really excited that with the Hoffman Family Gold, uh, they will be relying on Komatsu equipment in the upcoming season of their show in the harsh Alaskan environment. We're going to move on to talk more about the HM400-5 articulated truck. You might be able to hear everyone's having fun on the simulator right now. But here we have the HM400-5 articulated truck and Komatsu has a variety of different trucks in our lineup but what we're really excited about with this machine is that the demand for it has been so high we've had to reshore some of the production to our Chattanooga, Tennessee plant. There's a, a bunch of machines around the booth that actually have the I Make America sticker on the side uh, to help advertise that. Over here we have the PC900LC-11. This is actually a redesign of the PC800, uh, built to be more powerful and productive and has gotten a little bit bigger in the process. There's three features that we're touching on with uh, attendees at the booth today. One of them being, uh, we point out some of the cameras on the machine and with ComVision, you're able to achieve 270 degrees of visibility around the machine. Additionally, what we show attendees on the other side is easy access into the machine to service things like filters or oil checks or service ports. In addition, we also talk about uh, an improved counterbalance system in the back for improved ease of transport. We're gonna talk about two more uh, excavators here before we wrap up our tour with some breaker technology. 
Here we have the PC360 LCI-11. So we talked about some intelligent dozers on the other side of the booth, and here we have an intelligent excavator. So this excavator has IMC 2.0 technology equipped onto the machine. The some of the benefits of IMC 2.0 technology on excavators are that it prevents operators from overdigging. Additionally, what we're featuring on this machine is the Lenhoff fully automatic symmetric quick coupler and the IMU tilt bucket. The last excavator we'll talk about today is the PC238 USLC-11. This is a tight tail machine that allows operators to work in more confined spaces. And additionally, it has a smart construction retrofit kit hooked up to the machine, which I touched on in the technology tunnel. Again, bringing that 2D and 3D guidance data to the operators in the machine. On this machine, as well as others in the booth, we're featuring the Hensley buckets and encouraging attendees to visit the Hensley booth. Next to the Hensley booth is the Montebert booth, and that's actually how we'll close up our tour, is with some Montebert technology and some of our breakers. So if you follow me this way, so if you follow me this way, we'll end the tour talking about some of our breakers. So here we have two hydraulic breakers. Uh, this first one is a hydraulic and nitrogen gas breaker, the GTH B355G. This uses non-accumulator technology, resulting in fewer parts and lower maintenance costs. So this breaker is easy to service. Additionally, here we have the JMH B370V hydraulic breaker. This is designed to maximize performance with minimal wasted energy. And some of the parts that come standard on this machine uh, many features are the automatic greasing, advanced blank firing protection, swivel hose couplings, and heavy duty hosing. So the last visit we have on our tour uh, before we send attendees on their way uh, is we'd like to point out on some of these screens are machines that aren't even out yet. So here we have the WA-485 and the WA-700. The WA-485 is a new cab similar to the 475. Uh, it has a great transmission, but in a bigger, more productive machine. And additionally, the WA700, uh, this is a better size match for our HD605 trucks. So we just want to point out that these are still in development, but we want attendees to know that they're coming. So the last thing we do is walk over to the Komatsu store, where we would wrap up our tour and encourage attendees uh, to take a stop in our shop. Again, my name is Casimir. Thank you very much for being on the tour with me today. And we hope that everybody enjoyed their Con Expo and we hope you enjoyed this tour video. Thank you.